That's a really important yeah. one. For someone who doesn't have a large amount of money, what's the best way to build a portfolio that slowly add to coin top, wait, to the coin, to, top coins? Basically, yes. So I started in that position. I was not a rich guy. I literally made my all my crypto from dollar cost averaging. $20 a day. I was using Cash App. I was using Robinhood. I was using Coinbase app. I was anywhere I like. I could like take all my money. I would just basically live enough just to have enough for lunch and gas yep. and then pay my workers. And then every dollar I had just went into crypto. And even, even before I even had workers, when it was just me mm -hmm. by myself working in, like for people who don't know, I used to be a landscaper, um, then got myself into irrigation work, irrigation landscape business. And then from there, crypto guru to the stars. And then <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, but legitimately, man, I was just, you know, um, you know, manual labor worker and stuff like for a long time. And I just, parlayed all my money into equities originally then from equities into crypto and just didn't give up and studied and uh basically did very well for myself so if i can do it i know you can do it it's not impossible there's a path laid before you it is dollar cost averaging this is why i've said throughout the bear run that um when you don't have money time is your friend mm -hmm. the more time like oh no oh bullish tweet Oh no, or I should bearish tweet. Oh no, this is happening. Oh my god, World War Three. You ape. You continue, continue, continue to put money away. And yeah, the, the trades will make you rich too, but also fuck your body up. Yep. Like I saw I still got back pain from all from all the all the manual label work I was doing. I'm actually shocked my shoulders are fine. Weirdly enough, from all the all the podando we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but it could have been also me because I had such. I mean, I was working so much on my my muscles on shoulders. You were like almost overheading. Yeah, I was three fifteen. You were like two eighty, two ninety, almost. Yeah, I mean, I never, I never did overhead press three plates, but I got cl so close. But gee, I felt like my back was gonna break. I'm only fourteen. No, no, no. I was eight, <laughs> eight, eight year old fucking child laborer. I was crazy young too. I think for the first year no no first year and a half i didn't get paid i didn't get paid at all and then eventually then 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 i was like yo i need to get paid they're like all right here's 10 bucks an hour mind you this is like slave labor yeah, look, <laughs> like, 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 work. I, this is horrible work. i do manual labor Terrible right now work. hell yeah man make that money yeah and i was working next to some psychopath oh my yeah. meth head yeah and some dude that like uh -huh. gave me like he was gay vibes yeah, Which is the classic the work, classic, you know, your classic yeah. working construction vibe. Like, there's a meth head, meth head, fucking crazy fuck you're working with, and there's some like, you don't know if he's gay or not, but he's like a good guy, but like, he's kind of queer. Yeah. So like half your coworkers, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I bet you guys can, you know, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. He's saying he does furniture delivery for an L company at 20 years old. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I was a landscaper for like the last Just five watch years. It. Take care of your back, brother. Take care of your back. I know mm -hmm. I like I did furniture delivery for a little bit. Well, for for customers and stuff. Damn, that stuff's hard. Like, it, it it's did, no joke. Yeah. I still can't believe I lifted. I must have been so retardedly strong that day, or I must have been on DS craze or some shit <laughs> back in the day because we like there, there's these giant, giant, giant table, wooden table that was like maybe this thick of wood, like longer than this entire studio. Oh my god, I forgot. What and was, me yeah. and this crackhead. Yeah. This meth had moved it by ourselves. <laughs> Two dudes were like, we, then the, the, the fourth time we ever tried to move it ever, it took six or seven of us to move it. And then I thought, how did I get weaker? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I mean, like, it's so funny, man. When you're, when you're 19, 20, 22, man, infinite energy, you guys don't understand. Like, it really wasn't until like I hit about 28 when you start feeling the slowdown. But like, I'm 33 today and like, you know, Miguel, I'm still I'm still out here, but like you feel like you feel you're you're slower than you were in 19 19 infinite energy. Like the last big job, uh, me and Eric ended up doing. Yeah, remember when we were digging out that house underneath? Mm. Bro, mm. we could not bring a cat or not bring any heavy machinery in there because they didn't want to bring a permit and do all this extra shit because they're you know <laughs> money. <laughs>